we have a major superstar in the house today, Mr. Chris Allen, former winner of American Idol. We all know him from season eight when he won American Idol, but since his big win, he's gone on to have hit singles such as Live Like You Are Dying, and now he's in town for a holiday show in Chicago tonight. We'll get to that later. Good morning, Chris. Morning, how's it going? We're so happy you're here. I remember voting for you on American Idol. <laughs> you said that, I mean, that's so crazy to me. I'm, I feel like yeah. a little red saying that I'm embarrassed. <laughs> uh, I'm blushing myself, so it's all good. We're good. Thank you, yeah, all right. Yeah. So you picked up a guitar when you were 13. Yeah. Did you have a specific inspiration? My dad, actually. Yeah. Uh, my dad was a guitar player and singer, and um, music was always around the house all the time, and so I just, I was always playing, you know, always trying to, uh, you know, maybe mimic him a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you've had quite the journey since 2009 when you won. Mm -hmm. um, you had a record deal and hit songs mm -hmm. and you were living your dreams and yeah. then it kind of all potentially went away in a flash. You thought it would be gone and you would never play guitar again. Yeah, I, I got into a, an accident, I guess it'll be five years on January 1st wow. and um, a head-on collision, my wife was in the car and and uh, and it was really scary. I broke my wrist really bad, and had to, I kind of went through a year of surgeries and rehab and stuff. And and uh, but it's you know it is what it is now. It's it's not 100 percent. It'll never be 100 percent. But it just um, you know you you learn how to deal with things and you learn how to get better. You know. I can imagine some low points probably. Well, how yeah. has your outlook changed? Um, I think the way that I think about my life, um, my career, and I think. Um, just how things can happen in life that that can be taken away, because um, I definitely thought like, man, I don't know if I'll be playing again ever, you know, and uh, and I just thought to myself, I was like, you know, uh, if I'm gonna I'm gonna get through this, I'm gonna get better because of this, and I think I've become a better guitar player because of it, and and, uh, and I think I just awesome. look at my career differently. Yeah. yeah. Um, and you're going to be a part of the American Idol reboot. You just filmed something in Orlando. How yeah. do you feel about the judges? I, th I, I don't know them personally, um, but I, I hope they do well for the show. I hope it's not about them. Yeah. And I, I, I feel like Idol's heart has always been in the contestants and making sure they were the focal point of the show. Um, so hopefully that's the, that's the case. It might be tough with... Katy Perry up there. I know, <laughs> She's right. kind of a focal point, you know? But I think the contestants will be really talented. I and think so. They'll make it work. Yeah. Um, and so you're coming back with a Christmas album and you're performing at City, City Winery tonight. Yeah. Um, what song are you going to perform for us right now? Uh, it's, it's a song, a Christmas song I wrote called Baby Won't You Wait Until the New Year. It's original. Yeah. All right. Take it away, Chris. Yeah, thanks. Baby, why you doing this on Christmas Eve? Say your words to me that I don't want to believe. Oh, oh, baby, please don't go. If there ain't a way that I could change your mind, and all I'm asking for is just a little time. Oh, oh, oh you let me go. Baby, won't you wait until the new When I see a Christmas tree all lit up I don't want to think about you breaking up with me Baby, can't you see? Oh, when I hear the carolers singing outside I don't want to think about you telling me goodbye So that's why Baby, won't you wait until the new Baby, won't you wait until the new year to break my heart? Oh, baby, well, if I can't have you, well, don't you take my Christmas from me, too. 